take a closer look at tumbling toys. Now I've made a couple different models of the tumbler and I have a couple different tracks. In fact, this one actually has clear sides so it's going to allow us to see very clearly what's going on. So let's take a closer look. Here's a picture of a tumbling toy that's sold commercially. Since we can't see inside, I made one that has clear windows on either end to allow us to see the movement of the ball as the tumbling toy works its way down the track. When the ball gets to the lower end of the body, the weight of the ball actually causes the tumbling toy to rotate around that lower peg. It rotates half a turn, the lower peg then becomes the upper peg, and the process repeats itself as the toy makes a series of half turns as it makes its way down the track. If I hold one end of the toy, I can actually feel the torque that's actually causing it to turn. This version is called the cage. It's a little bit faster than the first one because it sits on the track with a little bit steeper angle than the first one. There are two impacts that help the tumbler move down the track. When the body hits the track, it's going to bounce up a little bit, and that's going to help get the ball rolling. The other impact is when the ball hits the lower end of the body. We can actually see it helping to start the rotation of the tumbling toy. Now this tumbler is called the hourglass, and it's much slower than the other two I've shown. In this case, I've replaced that single steel ball with little tiny BBs. So why is this tumbler slower? Well, the middle of the tumbler is narrow, so it takes longer for the balls to get from one end to the other. When the body hits the rails, it doesn't bounce on the upper end to help move the balls downward. In fact, in some cases, the lower end actually bounces upwards, which will slow the ball's movement down some. And one more difference is that there's no single big impact that's going to help start the tumbling toy rotating around that lower set of pegs. Alright, now in this last case I've replaced the steel balls with a liquid. I'm still experimenting with various types of liquids inside this plastic container. Can you imagine if I fill it with honey, it would take all day for the tumbling toy to get from the top of the track down to the bottom. If you like this video, please let me know and check out my other experiments on homemade science with Bruce Yaney.